When you need to know, KCBS AM, KFRC FM, and HD1, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose. Her childhood was marred by homelessness and abuse. But decades later, she went on to become the head of a major South Bay homeless shelter group. And now she's telling her story to KCBS reporter Keith Manconi. I am a survivor, and I'm grateful to be a survivor. Andrea Erden um, says that after that years of abuse suffered at the hands of her alcoholic father, when she was only 15, he moved away. And left me in this um, broken down little cottage in Bellflower that wasn't safe and was regularly broken into. What followed for Erden was four years of sporadic homelessness, during which she often had to rely on the hospitality of friends to find safe shelter. I would go from place to place. Um, so as not to wear out my welcome. And when I got my car, I would occasionally sleep in my car. Burton, now 53, has come a long way from that troubled time. So when people check in, they get a meal ticket, a blanket, and a bed number. After completing her education and working for many years as a therapist, she's now the CEO of Home First Services, a network of homeless shelters in the South Bay that on any given day provides housing and services to thousands of people. How's your daughter? Good, good, good. Good. Over the decades, Erden has said little of her story publicly, but she recently decided to come forward in the hopes of changing minds. I'm hoping that they build empathy for other people's situations. I hope that they're able to look at the fear that they hold, understandably so, around the issue of homelessness, around the issue of our unhoused neighbors. All this comes at a critical moment, as many thousands of formerly homeless Californians put up in emergency shelter during the pandemic now await placement in permanent housing. Burton's message? Let's do what we have to do to take the most vulnerable people in our community and let's get them the solutions they need to help them resolve their issues permanently. A path out of homelessness. Burton knows it can be found because she's walked it herself. In San Jose, Keith Manconi, 